All right, it's on. Let's do it. Boom! You see that? Did you guys see that? <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. Merc them out immediately. Completely melt sentinels. So what's up everyone, Oddman105 aka the odd one here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And guys, in today's video I got a treat for you. Now when I discovered this, I was shocked at just how powerful this weapon is once it's fully upgraded. So consider this, would you guys consider using a fully upgraded mining beam as an offensive weapon? Well, if you haven't, this video might change your mind, and like I said, I was shocked and blown away at just how powerful the mining beam can be once it's fully upgraded. Now, why would you consider a mining beam as an offensive weapon? Well, number one, it uses carbon as fuel, which is readily available. And number two, it's a recoilless weapon, which means you don't have to worry about re-aiming your shot every time you fire. And it's a continuous beam as well, so just hold down the trigger and aim for something and you'll hit whatever you're aiming at. Now, with that being said, what we're going to do in today's video is basically purchase a bunch of X and S class upgrades. We're going to min max until we get the best possible stats on both types of upgrades, and we're going to max out the mining beam on our multi tool and go punch a bunch of sentinels in the face. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about when I say that this weapon is a beast. So, with that being said, let's begin. Okay, so the very first thing that you'll need is the multi-tool. Now, any multi-tool type will work. That can be a sentinel multi-tool, alien multi-tool, experimental multi-tool, it doesn't matter. Any multi-tool will work. However, you must ensure that your multi-tool is an S-Class with all four supercharged slots connected. This will ensure that whatever weapons you install on your multi-tool with their upgrades will do the maximum possible damage, okay? This is very important. Okay, next thing you'll need are the blueprints for your mining beam. So you'll need to go to the Space Anomaly and speak to Eos back here, or as I like to refer to him as Jaws, because look at him, he looks just like Jaws. Okay, get through his dialogue. Okay, research multi-tool upgrades, and you'll want to purchase both the advanced mining laser and the optical drill. Now, if you've unlocked it, then you also have the option of purchasing your multi-tool upgrades from the Utopia Multi-Tool Station, and you simply want to look for Mining Beam, and you want to purchase, again, all blueprints right here. So since we have them, we're good to go. Next, go to any space station that sells S-Class Mining Beam upgrades. Now, remember that not every space station will sell them, so it may take you some time to find one. However, on your screen right now are the glyphs to this star system and this space station where this multi-tool vendor sells S-Class Mining Beam upgrades. So you want to speak to this guy, get through his dialogue, and purchase. So if you scroll down, bam, here we go, Mining Beam Module. Now remember that he only sells one, so after you purchase this Mining Beam Module, you want to create a manual restore point by jumping in and out of your ship. Then you want to reload your manual restore point, and that will reset the vendor's inventory. That way you can buy more of them. Next, to get your X-Class upgrades, go to any Outlaw Space Station and speak with the multi-tool vendor. We'll talk to this guy right here with the nice spikes, I guess. Okay, you want to scroll down until you find here. Suspicious Mining Beam Module. This is what you want. Buy as many of them as you can, and rinse and repeat. Once you purchase the upgrades, you'll need to jump in and out of your ship, create a manual restore point, then reload your manual restore point to reset the vendor's inventory. Now, I procured all of my upgrades legit, 100% legit without dupes, glitches, or exploits. However, remember that you're going to need a lot of nanites and a lot of time to get the perfect X-Class and S-Class upgrades for your mining beam, or any weapon for that matter. Now, you also have the option of going into your difficulty settings and changing all purchases to free. Okay, this is a legitimate gameplay mechanic for those who don't want to bother with farming for nanites to purchase their upgrades. Okay, 
So you do have this option as well. Okay guys, so after a few hours of purchasing both X-Class and S-Class upgrades and min-maxing, these are the best possible stats that I could come up with. Now, let me say in the beginning that the problem with X-Class upgrades is that they're inconsistent in terms of overall maximum possible stats. Now, as you can see here, the heat dispersion and fuel efficiency are both maxed out at 55% and plus 25% respectively. However, the mining speed and overheat downtime are as bad as C-Class upgrades at plus 7% and minus 6% respectively. So. Uh, these are the best possible stats that I could find of all of the X-Class upgrades. And remember that when you buy X-Class upgrades, you want uh, upgrades with at least four stats. Okay, but this is the best possible set of stats I could get. So what we're going to do uh, is test uh, both the X-Class upgrades with the mining beam and the S-Class upgrades with the mining beam. So let's take a look at what we have here for the S-Class. Now, as you can see, these are the three best stat S-Class upgrades I could find. Now, the absolute best one here, you're looking for a maximum fuel efficiency of plus 21% and a maximum heat dispersion of plus 50%. For the S-Class, your overheat downtime should be minus 20%, and your mining speed should be plus 20%, okay? Those are the maximum possible stats that you can get for the S-Class upgrades, and I have three different S-Class upgrades with the highest possible stats that I could find. Remember, this was done 100% legit, no dupes, glitches, or exploits. Okay, so to demonstrate the sheer power of a fully upgraded mining beam on a standard multi-tool, and remember, you can do this with any type of multi-tool, we're going to take a normal S-Class multi-tool with three of its four supercharged slots connected, and we'll install all of the S-Class modules and its blueprints, and then we'll go wreck some Sentinels. So let's go ahead and do this. So you want to put all of your S-Class modules in the uh, supercharged slots here. So we'll put these three here. Okay, you want to put the optical drill underneath the mining beam itself. And we'll take the A-Class advanced mining laser and put that in the fourth supercharged slot adjacent to the mining beam. Okay, now our damage potential went from 444 to 536, as you guys can see. However, ignore this number right here. This is not indicative of how powerful this weapon is going to be. So let's go punch some sentinels in the face. Okay, guys, and we're back. And here we go. Hey, get Rex Sentinel. Boom! Right in the face. You see that? Can't heal him fast enough, can you? And guys, this is a standard multi-tool with an upgraded mining laser. Melting sentinels like butter. Where's that quad? Hi there. We'll see who dies first. Oh, you're dead. You see that? That took about four seconds. Okay, now let's deal with the mech. Hi there. Oh, oh, you did. Not bad. Guys, I want to emphasize that this is a standard multi-tool. Okay, get rid of this dude, just like before. Okay, he's dead. Okay, now let's take care of the walker. Legs are gone. Oh, he's gimped now. <laughs> oh, he's going cray cray. All right, let's hit him where it hurts. Look at that. Boom, he's dead. <laughs> Too easy. Now, where's my walker brain, you idiot? 
And guys, this is a normal multi-tool here. Nice. Okay, next you know what we got to do. Let's test it with a Sentinel multi-tool. All right, so what we're going to do first is put together our X-Class mining beam and something else that we're going to do here. You can install a standard mining beam on your Sentinel multi-tool with your hijack laser. This will double your damage potential for the mining beam. However, when you do this, it's permanent. You cannot remove a mining beam from your Sentinel multi-tool once it's installed, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this thing together. So as you can see, our hijack laser and mining beam are together here next to the supercharged slots. So let's go ahead and put in all of our X-Class upgrades. Okay, next you want to put your S-Class upgrade into the supercharged slot, like so, and put the advanced mining laser next to the hijack laser. And as you can see, our damage potential jumped to 1339. But again, I want to remind you guys, ignore this damage potential. This is not indicative of how powerful this weapon is going to be. Okay, so let's go test it and punch some sentinels in the face. Let's do that right now. Get out of here. All right, it's on. Let's do it. Boom! You see that? Did you guys see that? <laughs> He didn't stand a chance. Merc them out immediately. Completely melt sentinels. Okay, so where's the other ones? Ah, there they are. Hello there. Boom! Boom! You see that? Incredibly powerful this weapon is. Boom! Dead! Oh! We got a mech. Game on. Let's do it. One thing I wanted to point out is that this weapon, the mining beam's not overheating at all. All right, time to take out the mech. Goodbye. <laughs> that took all of three seconds, didn't it? <laughs> It took all of about three seconds to kill that mech. All right, let's take care of Big Daddy over here. Legs, legs, feet. Oh, he's gimped. Face. And like I said, we're not overheating. We are not overheating. Boom! <laughs> let's go. That was awesome. Okay, next let's test down our S-Class upgrades against some Corrupted Sentinels. And as you guys know, Corrupted Sentinels are the most difficult, so... Speak of the Devil, check this out. A Harmonic Resonator, let's go get it. Hello, boyos. Boom! Dead. <laughs> well, it looks like we pissed off. Okay, you know what? We'll merc him out too. Done. Boom, dead. Okay, you see that? Unbelievably powerful. And these are the S-Class upgrades here. Let's get rid of the stupid mirror. Piece of cake. Yep, finger's still on the trigger. You see that? <laughs> nice, there's a spider. Spider's dead. <laughs> I can do this all day. And remember guys, this is a ranged weapon. Is that it? Ouch. Hi there. That's it. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, but you guys get the idea. 
very powerful weapon here. That is a standard mining beam that's been fully maxed out. And again, guys, you can do that with any type of multi-tool. Just make sure that it's an S-Class with all four supercharged slots connected. Okay, guys, and that's pretty much it. This video is a wrap. I'm an odd man 105, aka the odd one. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.